The attention here turns to the eclipse. Cleveland, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? They are ready. Yes, because we are in the path, the path of totality. So is Burlington, Vermont. And that's where World News anchor David Muir is for us this morning. He's going to begin our team coverage as we count down to the big moment. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Robin. It's great to be with you here this morning from beautiful Lake Champlain here in Burlington, Vermont. Can't wait to be on the air with you later for the ABC News National Geographic special event, the eclipse across America. And this is going to be different this time. You know, 15 states from Texas all the way to Maine, nearly 32 million Americans live in the path of totality. This shadow is going to be wider because the Earth is actually closer to the moon this time, which means that shadow is actually larger when suddenly there is darkness, temperatures drop and Americans together collectively all experience something we won't see for another 20 years. This morning, families across America in the path of totality. We're all ready to go. 15 states from Texas to Maine setting out to witness the total solar eclipse. You guys ready for the eclipse? Yeah. We're coming from from Florida so that way we can see the solar eclipse because it's once in a lifetime. They made it to Dallas. So we're in the path of totality. But what exactly will they see and how does it happen? Dr. Jedida Eisler is an astrophysicist and National Geographic explorer. A solar eclipse is when the moon moves between the sun and the earth and its shadow is cast on us. That shadow is pure cosmic coincidence and it happens because the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon. The sun is also 400 times farther away, making the two appear the same size. This means the moon completely covers the sun during a total solar eclipse with only the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, visible from Earth. One cool difference between the 2017 eclipse and the one that we're going to see now is that the moon is closer to the Earth, so it's going to cast a larger shadow. So both totality will be longer and the actual path will be almost double what it was in 2017. This time, that shadow is about 123 miles wide on the ground, moving at a speed of nearly 2,000 miles per hour. The closer you are to that center line, right through the middle of that shadow, the longer you'll be in complete darkness. In some places, it will last up to 4 minutes, 28 seconds. Nearly 32 million Americans live in the path of 100% totality. But look at how far the eclipse spreads in both directions. That means hundreds of millions of Americans today will see some version of this eclipse. Part of this is it's the magic of the eclipse. Part of it's about family and being together for a special event. You know, he is so right. We're about to witness this as a country. And we're going to talk a lot about this this morning. You really want to be careful with your eyes. You know, they say this uh, every several years when we actually witness one of these eclipses. But you want those eclipse glasses. These are thousands of times darker than your typical pair of sunglasses. You know, your retina doesn't sense pain, actually, when you're looking up at the sun. So your eye will not know, won't send messages of the damage you're doing. So really, be careful with your family out there today in the path of totality. I mentioned earlier, 32 million Americans in the path where they will cast this shadow. Skies will go dark. Temperatures will drop. They say birds might actually stop, you know, whistling. The crickets will start chirping. The, the animals can get confused. But Michael, Rebecca, George, the other thing to keep in mind here is even if you're not directly in that path of totality, which will be wider this time than what we've seen before, scientists say about 99% of Americans across this country will witness something today, whether it's a partial eclipse, even just a piece of what we're not going to see for another two decades. All right. Thank you for all of that, David. And look forward to watching your special coverage of the path at the path of totality and, and the eclipse today.